Hi class, welcome to Calculus. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, what we're gonna do is explore optimization, which is a concept in calculus. Um, I'm gonna start with this particular problem. Consider this function, f of x equals x cubed minus six x squared plus nine x plus five. What I'm gonna do is show you in Desmos some features of this particular function, and we're gonna explore the graph there in Desmos and go from there. Okay, here in Desmos, we have seen the graph here that's drawn out in blue. This is the graph of the function that I just described for f of x. And if we follow this point here along this blue curve, we can see that obviously the point itself is changing. We arrive at a what we're going to consider a maximum point, a local maximum point of this graph, and we can continue moving the point across the graph until we even hit an interesting point over here where we have what we're going to call a local minimum of this particular function. Now what we really want to know is what is the slope of the tangent line along this particular function um, at anywhere that this point is presented to us. So let me show you here if I were to draw the tangent line that I have here in red I can again move the point and we can see how the slope of that line that red line changes along this particular portion of the graph. Now what we're going to be interested in doing is looking at in this case where the slope of the tangent line is in fact positive and in, along this particular interval the slope of the tangent line is indeed positive. Over here in this section of the graph the slope of the tangent line is negative and then on this other section of the graph, the slope of the tangent line is back to positive. So what we're interested in though is where the graph, this slope of the tangent line here changed from positive to negative and then later negative to positive. So I see here when I move this particular point along this curve right about here, I have a perfectly horizontal line, that red line, which shows us that in fact that slope here is going to be zero at this location. And when we have a slope of zero, we have, in fact, a change of slope in the derivative from positive to negative here in this case, or perhaps negative to positive. But in this particular instance, at this location, we are switching from a positive slope for that tangent line over to a negative slope for that tangent line. And that switch happens right here at zero. And so the point that of this location is one nine. And then if we move over for this particular uh, tangent line, we have another interesting location right about here where the slope of the tangent line went from being negative to being positive. And that switch again happened at this location, which is the point three comma five, where the slope of that tangent line is yet again zero. So what we're gonna explore is algebraically how to find these points of interest, this local minimum in this location at 3, 5, and this local maximum in this location at 1, 9. And we're going to use a derivative to help us figure out algebraically how to find these particular locations. We can see them here on the graph, but we're going to use algebra to help us figure that out in our next videos. So thanks for joining us for this video. I hope this was helpful in an introduction to optimization. Please be sure to click on the Advantage logo. Subscribe. See you soon.